Hey, welcome back to another episode of Camp and Camera. Today is Way Day. Hey, welcome back everyone. If this is your first time here, it's good to have you. If you've been here before, welcome back. Um, since we got the Camp Easy out of the workshop, folks have been asking me constantly, how much does that little camper weigh? And I'll have to say, I've been wanting to know myself. No, it pulls down the road behind my truck. Terrific, absolutely great. Um, no worries there. But even still, it's in the back of my mind. How much does it weigh? What's the tongue weight? Um, you know, if I start pulling it with my wife's Nissan Pathfinder down the road, it's probably not going to be as beefy in the rear end as the truck. So it may be a little more susceptible to uh, the weight of the camper. So, hey, today I'm just going to put all that to bed. I'm going to get this thing on a set of cat scales and find out what's going on. Let's get on the road. So we're going to head down the road to the local uh, pilot truck stop. There's a cat scale there. Now, as I understand, a cat scale is a certified scale that truck drivers use. Um, evidently, uh, from what I've been told, a truck driver can pull up on the scale, um, push a button. Somebody will ask them what their truck number is. In my case, I'm just going to say 5945 for the Camp Easy 5945. Um, they'll go inside. They'll get a ticket or a printout with their weights on it. And then if there's any problem, um, the truck driver can actually move the rear axle or the axle on their trailer back and forth and redistribute the weight. They'll come back and they'll do a reweigh. And uh, the good thing is <clears throat> the, uh, the initial weight is a little pricey. It's like 11, 12 bucks, but the reweigh is only a couple dollars. So they're not gonna fully charge you twice. So I'm gonna pull through, get my weight of the truck and the camper together. I'm gonna go back um, to, a, to a spot, dump the trailer, come back and just do a reweigh on the truck alone and just use math to figure out what the camper weighs. Um, when I get back home then, I'll see what the tongue weight is. Um, so let's get into the cat scale. This is a first way. All right, what's the truck number? 5945. All right, catch up back to whenever you're ready. So I just went through the cat scale and got an initial weight. Um, I guess I go inside and get the weight ticket or whatever. And then uh, I'll come back and do a reweigh. <clears throat> So I'm just parked here in around the front, the gas pumps. I'm gonna run in and get my initial weight ticket and see what that was. So I just got the weight ticket. My gross weight with the truck and the camper is 7,420 pounds. So let's go dump the camper, come back and do a reweigh. And then just using math, to figure out how much the camper weighs. Okay, so I got the trailer dumped. Let's head back to the pilot cat scale and do a reweigh. So the first time I went through the cat scale, they asked me if it was an initial way or a reway. Obviously, it was an initial way. This time will be a reway. And, uh, feels weird going back here where all these big trucks are. I feel like I feel like I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be. I guess people do this kind of thing all the time though. Uh first way right? reway. It's a reway. What's your truck number? Five nine four five. Okay, so I got the reway done. Uh, they asked me what my truck number or trailer number was, one, uh, twice. They asked me two times what the number was. And then she came back and asked me for a number on the lower left of my original ticket. So I gave her that. And then she said she had what she needed to come inside. Now, when I went inside the first time, um, they asked me you know, who I worked for or what my carrier was. 
and I just gave her a 5945 for both the truck number and the camper number. Um, I don't think it really mattered to her what the number was. She just had to have something. She asked who my uh, company was. I told her it was just me weighing a camper, and she didn't care. She was fine with it. Still feels a little weird, though, pulling in amongst all the, the big trucks. But anyway, I'm back here at the gas pumps. Let's run in and uh, get her weight. And the reway, drum roll please, 6,000 pounds. So if you just do the math, the teardrop weighs 1,420 pounds. Okay, so we made it back to the house. We got the weight on the cat scale. I couldn't be happier. We came in under 1,500 pounds. And that's one of the things that I had in my mind when I first started the build uh, that I wanted to be able to achieve was to stay under that 1,500 pound mark. Um, the variety of reasons for that. One is that I've got 2,000 pound leaf springs on my camper. And I still wanted to have a, you know, a few hundred pounds of, of margin there. Um, but I'm kind of glad almost in a way that it's close to the 1500 pound mark because that makes the leaf springs ride a little bit softer. Um, but hey, now that we're home, we need to run outside and take some measurements of the tongue weight to see what the ratio is. Okay, so we got our tongue weight measured and it came out to 175 pounds. Now, from all the research I've done on the net, um, folks say it's good to stay between 10 and 15% of the total camper weight. Um, evidently, if you, know, if you can stay kind of right in the middle of that, of that range, uh, the camper will pull better and not be as prone to you know, shimmy or the death wobble, if you will. So let's see how it came out. Get the calculator out here. 175 pounds tongue weight divided by 1,420 pounds total weight puts me, oh yeah, puts me at 12.3%. So you couldn't be hardly any more in the middle of, of 10 to 15 than 12.3. So let's do a little bit of a recap. Um, I wanted to know what the total weight of the camper was. So I went to a cat scale, a certified scale. I weighed the truck with the camper. They printed me out a cat scale ticket. And the last number was the gross weight, which was the tow vehicle and the camper weight. In my case, 7420. I went back and did what they call a reway. So I didn't have to pay the $11.50 again. I only had to pay $2 for the reway. The reway in this time was a gross weight of 6,000 pounds. That was only the truck. So you take 7420 minus 6,000. My camp easy weighs 1420. Now, when I got home, I did a tongue weight by just setting it on some bathroom scales directly where the hitch drops on the ball. Um, 175 pounds in this case, which comes out to 12.3% of the total weight of the camper. So now I have peace of mind. Now I've been pulling the camper for a little while and it pulls great. I wasn't worried about that. Um, but still in the back of your mind, you want to know what does it weigh? What's the tongue weight? How am I doing? Now I've got peace of mind. Everything worked out super. And I actually, I could probably even put a little more weight in the front or a little more weight in the back, either one. And I'm gonna be, you know, back and forth in that range but of the 10 to 15%. So, hey, I'm super excited about that. Um, weigh your camper, calculate your tongue weight, shift things around if you need to, make that thing, you know, pull down the road safely. So, hey, if this is your first time here, it's good to have you. If you're a repeat watcher, welcome back. Um, subscribe if you want to come back. Give me a thumbs up if you like this episode. And until next time, take care. We'll see you on the road.